Hello, this is Thomas Applegate with CPUPoints.com, and we're going to learn about today the Quick Launch Bar. Okay, if you don't have the Quick Launch Bar down here or anywhere on your taskbar, okay, you're going to click on, you're going to right click on the blank space on your taskbar, you're going to left click on the toolbars, and you're going to make sure you click on Quick Launch so there's a check mark here. Okay, and now your Quick Launch Bar should appear down, down here by the Start button. Okay, and um, what we're going to do is we're going to create two shortcuts. We're going to create a shortcut to a folder, and we're going to create a shortcut to a program, uh, Microsoft uh, Office PowerPoint. Okay, so uh, we're going to create our PowerPoint shortcut first. So we're going to click on Start, go into All Programs, go into Microsoft Office, right-click PowerPoint, left-click on Copy, left-click on the wallpaper, the desktop wallpaper to remove the start button, no, the start menu. Right click next to the show desktop icon, which is this icon right here. Right click here. Left click on open folder. Right, uh, left click on edit. Left click on paste shortcut. You want to make sure you left click on paste shortcut. If you left click on paste, you're going to copy the, the file into, the, into this folder, and this folder is for shortcuts, not files. So make sure you put a left click into um, Paste Shortcut. Okay, and there's our shortcut to our PowerPoint presentation, to our PowerPoint program. Okay, now we're going to create a shortcut to a folder. So uh, what you do is go into Start, My Documents, and you're going to right click on My Music, left click on Copy, left click on the, on the uh, window for the Quick Launch window, left click on Edit, and again, you want to make sure you click on the Paste Shortcut. You don't want the folder in here because then you're not going to be able to access the files in that folder because it's a copy of that folder. You want to paste a shortcut to that folder. So left click on Paste Shortcut, and there's your shortcut to My Music. Okay? Now, if you don't like like the words that you see on, on here where it says short, Shortcut To, you can right click on the file, left click on Rename, and type in what you want to name the folder. Or the file. You can also, well, you know, these aren't folders, they're actually uh, shortcut files. So uh, we can also do the same thing for PowerPoint. Okay, it says Microsoft Office PowerPoint, blah, blah, blah. Okay, right click, left click on rename, and type in PowerPoint, and hit enter. And there's our PowerPoint shortcut renamed to PowerPoint. And we can close this window, we can close this window over here. And as you can tell, you don't, you can't see. Our shortcuts over here. We had to click on on, on this little um, double bracket over here to be able to see our um, our icons. Well, if you want to see the icons, you right click in this blank area right here. You left click on lock the taskbar so the check mark is removed. Left click on and hold on this uh, dotted line. Scroll to the right until all your icons are visible. Remove your left release your left mouse button, right click in this blank space again, left click on lock the taskbar, and there you go. You have all your shortcuts down here that you can click on to open up your shortcuts. There's a shortcut to uh, my PowerPoint program, and here's a shortcut to the music folder. And you can also access the files the same way how we did it with the uh, shortcut to the folder, and we created the shortcut for the, um, for the uh, program for PowerPoint. You can also do the same thing for shortcut two a file such as a, uh, an mp3 file if, if you like or, or any other type of file that, that you wish to uh, create a shortcut to that you're, that you're working on. Okay, and this concludes our tutorial on the Windows Quick Launch Bar. If you have any questions, please click on the Contact Me button on the top or, or send us or sort of send comments or submit comments uh, down below. Thank you for viewing our video.